I would like to see every local have a veterans committee. Any veteran anywhere knows that they could get some help by the TW because our motto has always been veterans helping veterans uh, no matter what. I came back to work in American Airlines after a year and a half tour and I had problems coming back to work. I called um, human resources at the company and told them that I was going to be back as soon as my orders were over. The human resources told me that, no, we'll call you when you can come back. And I knew that was wrong. You have to educate people to what they're entitled to. Most people don't know about their benefits. I mean, you, you take it at work. You know, most people, it's there. If they need it, they use it. If they don't need it, they don't want to know about it. And so it's a, it's a tough education not just the mechanics on how to step up for their rights and how to uh, ask for what they need but it's also the company knowing what's expected of them under the USERA and under ESGR. And our role is to uh, decimate information from the federal level. The whole Congress, 435 congressional people that are in Congress and 100 senators, 535 were all veterans then I think you'd have an understanding and I think a lot of the stuff that goes on where veterans wouldn't have to fight. If you can help one person get his benefits, maybe get the money that he should have gotten 20 years ago for his disabilities and never got it, uh, very rewarding, very worthwhile. I asked the local presidents to send me somebody who's got a passion to help veterans. We've gotten those in all shapes and sizes. So if you're interested in those subcommittees as we go through the next couple of days. This started as a dream to help people. Today we've just been blessed to receive from the ATD several huge boxes of beef jerky uh, to pass out to our service members who are returning back to Iraq and Afghanistan today and for uh, upcoming flights. Jenny called me and said, hope you got a truck because evidently they collected a lot of beef jerky. It doesn't expire. It provides protein. It can handle cold and heat. Next to bottled water, is the, it's a quick and easy snack. It, it, it fills us up. The beef jerky that is in the hands of the service members will get on a plane in a couple of hours, and they will be flying from here to uh, Germany to refuel, and directly from Germany on into Kuwait. And from Kuwait, they'll be dispersing all over Southwest Asia, returning back to their Ford operating bases. We got a combination of R&R &R, uh, service members as well as de deployers. We have one airplane that comes in, one airplane that goes out every single day. kind of gives you chills and uh, goosebumps when you see it. The veterans in my era, when we come back, we, we weren't met wholeheartedly like they are today. We still, still don't treat them like they deserve to be treated, but you know what they do for the armed forces now is, is so much more. Those guys go through the airport and are so unindated by people wanting to shake their hand and say thank you. So it's a total different recognition. Thanks to the TWU and thanks to the different veterans organizations out there, we actually have a chance now to, to say thank you to veterans. I was deployed in 2003 to 2005. We were over in Bahrain and uh, Kuwait. I've always had the support of the TWU whenever it comes to uh, uh, having to deploy. Anybody that's coming back from overseas, the uh, best thing is to just stay out of work for at least a month and a half, two months, so you can uh, acclimate to civilian life. It's kind of hard, but everybody depends on the individual, you know, how many times they've been over there and what they see and what they go through. We were all promised something. and. Uh... I just want to make sure the ones that we can help at American Airlines, we do all we can to make sure they get all the benefits that they have come. They deserve it. I was in Baghdad working on the multinational force Iraq. Previously, I never really contacted the Union or had much interaction with the Union. But on this deployment, I was actually contacted by the media representative for TW, Angie Tucker, and really changed my deployment in the way of 
support from the union. And let's maybe want to take a part in the Veterans Committee with TWU. I really appreciate all that the TWU has done for me and my family and uh, American as well. It's my honor and privilege to read Resolution 18, support our troops, honor our veterans, dead and wounded. We commend those TWU locals who have taken an active role in setting up veterans committees to assist families of loved ones called up for active duty in knowing their rights and benefits. A member that walks in your office and says, I need to get to Germany to pick up my son who is serving in Iraq. And I ask, why do you have to go pick him up? And they're saying, because he was killed and he's in Germany and I need to get his body home. I want you to tell them that you don't have a veterans committee that can help him do this. Therefore, be it resolved, the Transport Workers Union of America will provide assistance to any division or local wishing to create its own veterans committee. Any veteran anywhere knows that they could get some help by the TW because our motto has always been veterans helping veterans uh, no matter what.